to two. Okay. So we're live now. Awesome. Let's see. It's not live yet. Or it's not showing up yet. Now, are you um, using a different device to log on to Facebook? No, uh, I'm, I've got my phone down here, and uh, it's a little bit slow picking up the uh, internet. I see. We've got a couple of people in here. Jenna Harmon's here from Sydney, Australia. Longtime yeah. supporter. We've got a baby coming soon. Another one. Congrats. Mm, it's not popping up. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, wait, here we go. It's a, okay, we got 13 people in the house. Let's mm -hmm. see if the sound's working. It's yep, it's all good. All right. Hello, Jenna Harmon. James Torrance. Yes, it is live. Yeah, yeah, Sisterhood's in the house. Michael Van Patten. Let's see, you see ya. Kareen is in the house. Uh, somebody said Echo. I didn't hear that on there. Let's see. Another Did one? No. Ah. no. There's no echo. Uh, yeah, if you're having any problems, anyone, uh, just go out and come back in. Yeah. Jen Harmon says, hope all is well with everybody. Diane Thank McLaughlin, you. Janet Ann Gilliam, Jennifer Peters. Got some new names in here. Got 31 people. It's building up a little bit. Memoria Smith, Sue Patty. Yeah. All right. Julie Rowe. Must be some of your friends. I don't recognize all these names. Um, Norm I recognized one of them, but uh, so Norma how, do Cust I do, how do I do hmm? the live then? Do you have a phone next to you? Yeah. Uh, you can just uh, turn off mute your volume, go down my page, and you'll find it. It'll either be at the top or four or five down, and then just click it like you're going to watch it, but just have it muted, and then you can uh -huh. see you can see comments. Yeah, Let's I mean the. Right. The most recent uh, videos that I'm seeing is from 15 hours ago on your uh, Just keep going down. Keep going okay. down. Yeah. We've got 37 people in the house. Wow. Well, thanks. And Matt Foss Mickelson, Paul Brown, Amber Cawthorn, Catherine Hunt, Jennifer Adams, Belinda Wake, Sue Baxter Fitz, Nicole Harris, Crystal Simmons says, I am new. Amanda Summer. Did you find it? No, I'm I'm still not finding it because I would like to be able to see the comments as they come in too. Just go and uh, get out of Facebook altogether. Go back okay. in and then go to my page. Okay, on just Todd Medina's page. Yeah. All right. Let's try this again. Yeah, up in Ohio, it's Medina, right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> is it? Yeah, up in Ohio. Yeah. It yeah, is that's it. how they pronounce. That's how they pronounce it in the Upper Midwest. Hello, Trinity oh, Unified. Hmm? I, I'm here. I see it. Okay, good. All right. So let's formally roll the show out. Uh, let me just make a couple of quick announcements prior to this. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Todd Medina. I represent Sology. We have a new website um, and live streaming um, channel coming out. Uh, it will be under Sology.1. Uh, we're working on that uh, with a team of some really good people, uh, Paul Hanrider, Michael Van Patten, uh, Katie Indicro, uh, Michelle Biggers is coming back in. She's going to help us. Um, so we're moving towards um, what is going to be an, uh, an app accessible in time, uh, multiple channel um, network that is the voice of the divine feminine, the mother goddess, the part of uh, all of us that's been suppressed for so many thousands of years, whether you're a man or a woman, doesn't really matter. Uh, this is a continuation of what we've been doing for seven years. We're building this community. It's entirely um, su uh, sufficient or, or subsidized or however you want to put it by the community because the community is part of it. My goal is that everyone has their own channel at some point. It will have features to include a personal profile, community-based, um, you know, where you can put up images and put up posts. It won't be as dynamic in the beginning as Facebook might be, but it's a place where we can all go and drive all of our uh, community and friends and family to one URL address. 
And in the internet age, we know that the more traffic that's driven to a URL, the more sponsors and advertisers that you attract, super abundance, which is going to be distributed uh, transparently and openly to everyone proportionate to um, the viewership that they receive. So we've got uh, a lot of people working on it. We're excited about it. I'm going to do a show uh, two hours after this one completes where I'm going to give an update and might be joined by some team members. Uh, everyone that has made a contribution since January 1st is, is enrolled in the community. Uh, and the way to enroll in the community when the website's up, are, well, before the website up is just to, we've always put our, our uh, if you want to support us, uh, contribution comment in at the end of every show anyone uh, that has done that since January 1st is is enrolled uh, once the website's up when you go up to the website it'll have a page pop up email uh, name and uh, and a one-time love contribution of your choice which will give you permanent access to all the features that we'll have which will include the archives of all the shows the lives uh, as well as the personal profile community uh, uh, you know, app that we have. In addition to that, there'll be eventually more added to it, but it's just uh, something that we're doing and we're building. It's a working process. We do appreciate everybody's love, support, contributions. So without further ado, let me, uh, let me roll this out. This is our primary show. It's called Soul Speaks 5D. It's a conversation. Today, it's a conversation with Sabrina Mick. We have uh, had a couple of messages go back and forth over the last few weeks. And I just said, you want to come on? And this is her first time to do a live, like many people in 700 broadcasts that have come forth. But I think we're going to see more and more, particularly divine feminines, stepping up this year. It seems to be what's happening. And we're going to do everything we can to support that on this platform. So welcome to the show. Thank it's an you. honor to have you here. And uh, thank an you for sharing. Yeah. Thank you and for sharing it's space. It's an honor with to us. found you. Yeah. Hmm. Well, it's, a, it's an honor that you're here. Uh, now, just to be upfront with everybody, we have no idea what we're going to talk about specifically. I know uh, I've received a lot of messages, and I don't remember the specifics of the first messages that you sent to me, but I think they were along the lines of your wake up experience. Uh, exactly. We're a firm believer here that the biggest activations we can receive, downloads, channelings, um, are from these conversations that we have with each other where we integrate the human and the higher aspects of ourselves and just bring it in raw and authentically. Uh, this seems to be between the words, between the lines, uh, soul code exchanges and activations for the community, for me, for you, and for everybody watching. So I don't know. Maybe we can start with uh, when did you wake up and figure uh -huh. out everything wasn't what we were told right um yeah well i i turned 38 last march and um really i went just from you know having an enjoyable life i have three daughters um i've always you know just rolled with the punches went with the flow and um in march the the way that things were falling together um, there were a lot of just, it felt different there. I, I just, it felt like there was meaning when there hasn't been any, you know, really any thought. It was almost like I had, um, just been in a robotic mode. And then all of a sudden I was like, what in the world is this life? What is going on? What is happening? Because it felt like I woke up a whole different person wow. and yeah and it was it was you know it started out intense and it's been a intense nine months since <laughs> was there anything uh, a lot of people talk about uh traumas or uh successive traumas that kind of build up and then uh, there's that shift there's that explosion or implosion whatever you want to call it was there anything like that occurred or you just literally woke up and everything was different well um you know i i say that this goes back to um, some of my earliest memories. I was very aware of life and death. And, and you know, really, 
as long as I can remember, it just always had a deep impact on me. Um, I was very emotional. I was very conscious. Um, I knew that there were, you know, for every question, there was an answer. So I was always just self-aware of life. Well, my father had passed away when I was 17. And, you know, really since then, the question of just wanting to know, you know, there, it, you have to know because it happens. So, you know, since death happens, well, then what is next. And, you know, every year around his birthday and his, his, the, his death day, I would kind of get consumed in thoughts about, um, you know, life. Does it go on? And that's how, that's how my awakening happened just from having that question. And I didn't know what happened. I just knew that I woke up and started seeing things that I had never seen feeling ways that I had never felt and what happened to me. So, so what types of things did you start seeing? Well, um, in March, I started uh, meeting different people. Um, my, I was starting out in a journey of real estate school and, you know, just found myself in different, you know, new scenarios, new situations, but Rather quickly, um, everyone I met had a common, uh, a common significance that I had. And I was like, well, that's weird. I've, I've never met anyone in my 38 years who birthday is that day and your father died the same, you know, I just, things started clicking and I, I've never been exposed to as many significant coincidences as they started coming every day, wow. um, I started, you know, being aware of my energies and, and just, uh, j just my thoughts. I've had thoughts that have never entered my mind. Um, Such as what? Well, let's see. I'm trying. It's, it's so hard to put together. Yeah, um, the, the 3D memory banks are fading fast. No doubt. Right. Right. Well, I, mean, I, mean, I guess a couple, a couple, you know, sayings or mottos that's gotten me through life was things happen for a reason. What's meant to be will be. Um, so as I, as I implicated that into my daily life, I just started becoming more aware and, and questioning, well, why and how and by who? Just all of these questions just started being constant. Okay. So I just started seeing things totally different. And, uh, as I just, you know, started meeting different people and talking about different things, I started saying, wow, there, something's going on. I mean, there's something happening to us. Yeah. Does this make sense? <laughs> I know. Yes, it does. Keep going. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I started uh, seeing a lot of, like I said, significant coincidences to, um, you know, people that it was introduced. And I started, I started making notes. I, every date that something significant happened on, I started writing down and saying, okay, um, why, why does this matter? You know, what am I trying to prove? What am, what is trying to, you know, what am I trying to find out? Did you find any type of pattern or any type of, uh, you know, any type of uh, uh, yeah, I started connection seeing, between the dates that you were writing down? Yes. I started uh, seeing a lot of um, repetitive sequence of numbers, patterns, mm. patterns. And I, I, I've, I've always liked just numbers and math in general because... It, it makes sense. It has an answer, you know, it has an absolute. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I went from convincing people, you know, that there's life after death or trying to convince people there's life after death to, well, I, the reason why I'm saying it is because I've been writing all of these, you know, significant common things down. So we're, we've got to be connected. This has to be, this has to be caused from, 
this thought, you know, all of this is happening for a reason. Yeah. And I just, I, it, it was, it was, it's been a mess. Um, it's been a, it's been a ride. Yeah. And so you've got three girls at home. I have three daughters. And how's, uh, well, how old are they? 15, 11, and four. Oh, now how has this last nine months in transition been uh, in your home? Have you seen a change in those outside yourself or the overall oh, yeah. uh, in energy of your home? And what, what does that look like? What's that been like? Well, um, sadly, in my, com in my community, um, I've, I've not found anyone that is connecting on a, uh, a meaning from this movement. No one wants to talk about um, any of the things that I'm trying to, you know, talk to bring up to them. Um, they don't understand how my life has changed so much because it's been consumed from thought that I didn't have before. They've seen a change in me. They don't know why. And they don't think that it's important. They just want me to go back to the old Sabrina who just yeah. lived. And, and living life is, is totally different. Yeah. But they definitely have they've seen a change in you. They've and, seen and, change. Yeah. And, I'll, and I'll say this. You know, we've, we've had so many people. And, and this is not just on the show. But, but you see it in the, uh, the circles in social media that that's typically in the first phase is when, when somebody does wake up, they want to go tell everybody what's right. happening and then nobody's listening. And then they move right. into I mean, it. I, just wanted, I, I didn't want to be alone. I wanted to talk to someone. I mean, I was asking people, what, what is happening to me? Why am I doing this? Why did I live 37 years one way? And then all of a sudden a light switch came on and I'm a different person. You know why? They didn't know. They just said, well, you know, I don't know, but you're, you're in control of it. Just don't think about it. Yeah. Okay. What would you, what would you say is the biggest standout? You know, what, what's different about you now since that happened? Um, what is different? I am very, um, detail attention. I pay attention to detail. Um, I, I'm constantly trying to uh, do research to put together what this change is and all yeah. the elements of this change and the energies. And um, it's just, I, I mean, my whole time has just been completely flipped. It's consumed. Um, I can't go. It's like, I, I can't talk to someone without mentioning things that have happened in the last nine months, things that I've written down. I can't talk to someone without saying if they, you know, if they happen to their license plate happens to have my birth date on it. Wow. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cool? I mean, it's just, I see so much connectedness and I'm, you know, I, when I try to talk to them to show them or tell them what I'm seeing in the connectedness, they, they're, I, they, they, they don't, Care. It's like they don't care. They don't <laughs> see it. They don't want to see it. But <laughs> you know, here. So, so yeah. When I ran across your page, and uh, you know, your your guests and your um, your videos, it helped me in a way that it convinced me that I'm not crazy. Yeah. That That's I in have the... control. Yeah. That this, but it's, it's just an explosion has happened. And now I, I found myself in the middle of it and I'm trying to balance back out. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, that's another, I think that's another early, uh, another characteristic of the early phase is you realize you're not crazy and crazy's crazy is not what crazy is not crazy anymore. Oh you know? no. Uh, and the, um, mental, the, the mental health study aspect yeah. is unbelievably under misunderstood yeah i course. mean it's, it's amazing 
What's it like uh, watching these three girls as you've gone through this transition? Do they notice the change in you? Have you seen a change in them? Are you learning anything from them from a different perspective than maybe before March oh, of this absolutely. past year? Absolutely. Um, you know, the only thing I knew I wanted to be when I grew up was a mom. I didn't have any siblings. Um, you know, I wasn't one of those those children. I mean, you know, even through high school that I wanted to set out to have a job. I didn't, you know, I didn't want to go to be a veterinarian or a surgeon or, you know, only thing I knew I wanted to be was a mother. Okay. And, um, yeah, it came full circle circle of having the responsibility of, you know, bringing life into this world, Yeah. you know, into this planet. Um, just the battles, and the struggles of daily life. Um, you know, I went through school once as a student and now I'm going through as a parent. So yes, I have different, different glasses on, uh, you know, this time, but you know, yes, they, they, they've seen a change in me. Um, and, and I, I don't know if it would boil down to just, the life before and then life after. I don't, I don't know. Is that what it boils down Do, to? Yeah, I don't know. We're trying to find all this out right I now. I know, right? <laughs> but this is how it works. Now, do, do, um, do you feel like uh, in some way, maybe unexplainable way that your kids get it? Yes. Versus, versus these people you're running across, which is the same story most of us tell. Right. Um, hmm. Yes. Uh, I've, kind of dumbed it down to say that you have people that are inquisitive. Yeah. They want to know because, um, you know, we are a unique species. Um, and that to me is where it just all started. I recognized, Hey, I'm a little girl and I came from, you know, these, this mom and this dad, but then where did they come from? And that's where it, I started doing this when I was young. Yeah. Um, and the girls, you know, ha they have experienced close death in family. And I think when you're affected by death is when you really start to grow. Yeah. You know, if, if you, you either accept it and just, well, it happened and that's it. And now I'm this way or you let it impact you and say, you know, why, why do we only have a short time to live? Yeah. Why are you born if you're not asked just to die when you're, when you can't decide, you know, I mean, just all of that polarity and question started happening. Wow. Um, and now it's just with everything. It's like, uh, right. Now, every, everybody's different, you know, yes. everybody has uh, different uh, experiences yes, uh, and there is no right or wrong when I ask you, when I ask you this, you know, some people are very tied to the earth, you know, some people are very organic, some people have a galactic connection, angelic, other divine essences, sacred geometry, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the synchronicity of the numbers, uh, the math, uh, and, you know, affinity you have with the math. So, I mean, is there anything that stands out? Are you receiving, in your opinion, any type of communication from mm -hmm. infinite intelligence that maybe wasn't clear before March of this past year? Absolutely. Um, you know. How does it come in? What what form does that come in? Is it images? Is it thoughts? Is it a well, divine I mean, essence? There, I mean, there, there are, uh, we all have unique uh, abilities, but we all have um, some natural abilities. Um, you know, some people are artists, some people are gifted musically, some people are gifted, you know, athletically, strength. So, um, what I see or what I'm good at is putting pieces together. Um, I've always loved math, science, music. So those were my like, you know, three connections. I was artistic. You know, I wasn't very athletic. I wasn't, you know, but I have this about me. I, uh, I have a, you know, just the artistic or questioning 
mind. And yeah, um, I've started drawing, well, you know, months ago, okay, when all this craziness was happening, I, I literally would see images and shapes and numbers in my mind. And then I started putting them on pen and paper. Um, were they sacred geometry? What do the images look like? Yes, I started. I started. Um, I started out just with a, a dot, and then I would, I would say, okay, well, now that that dot's there, what's around it? What does it connect? I started drawing triangles in different shapes. I started writing. Um, let me let me think how I can put this. I started writing mirror images for, for no, I mean, I didn't know why. I, I, so it, you, you would draw one image and then the mirror of it next to it? Yeah. And then I'd go up and down. And then I, it, it was almost like it all hit me above, below, inside, outside. I, it just, everything just hits me that way. Did you, uh, did you, do you receive any type of messages with these things that you're drawing? Yes. Um, I would always ask signs from my father that uh, his spirit lived on, that something out there that was no longer materialistically communicating, but it was aware that I was down here and it had been materialistically related. And hang on, I think my dog's coming in. So, um, so when I started, you know, talking inside my head, not, not out loud, just I would be by myself and I would say, okay, God, dad, if, you know, grandma, please, what is going on? Is there something happening? You know, am I supposed to be with this, with this person? What am I supposed to do? And I started, uh, getting, you know, repetitive songs, repetitive numbers show up. And when I, when you started seeing those patterns, it's like, I've been asking for, for proof of communication for 21 years and they've been here all along. And now I'm just aware of them. And I, I recognize them. This just isn't random. You know, they, there might be coincidence because you know it, it's chance that you may walk in the same in a room that having the same shirt on as a complete stranger because a store sells different colors and sizes of clothes but when you get down to specifics unique specifics and when you notice them around you it, it just makes, I mean, it made me realize that it's not just me. We, there are more connectedness. And so, and so you progress through this. Now, have you had any type of, uh, you know, galactic communication or angelic communication or anything that I, that, that any other face of the universe besides your grandmother, your father, the universe as a whole? Well, um, I haven't said this out loud That's, too many no. times, but uh, <laughs> we'll get well, used I to mean, it. You know, you think back. I don't. I, I'm 38, and you know, my earliest memories. I can vividly recall two or three years old. Okay, I, I I can I can remember the the place, the people that I was surrounded by during that time. Well. I almost feel that the vision in my mind goes way back to a starting point, way beyond me being born on my, you know, on my birthday. It's almost like my memory is embedded in time long before I was even conceived. I mean, just, yeah. I, I just, it's, it's, I see so far back. I see yeah. so many possibilities. I see so many, um, so many 
you know, pieces of just space and time. And I just, I see everything. And it's, it's hard to focus down. It, I mean, it, when all of this started happening, it went from me trying to convince someone that we were meant to cross paths at this specific time because we must be meant to, you know, be together. You're my love. I'm, you know, that's what it went to. And, and now it's like, there are so many things that I've been exposed to in life that I have such a, just a deeper, different vision of. Yeah. It's so, and it's just so hard to even start talking to people. And, and, you know, that's probably why I'm, I'm having such a difficult time right now in my, you know, extension process. Let's, let's talk about that before we get into the next question. You know, because I think a lot of people, including myself, you know, uh, a lot of people, um, it's not really like a roller coaster, but there is, I know we were talking about this morning, you know, the polarities of faith and doubt. Right. Um, you know, we hear these voices, so to speak, and, uh, and then there's the chatterbox voice, the one that tells us, that told us we were crazy, right. told us that we were weird, you know. What type of difficulties are you going through and what are you doing to get through that? Um, I'm, the biggest difficulty right now is, is prioritizing for me. I, I, I don't know what direction to go because I don't know what the most important thing is. I don't know why. You know, I know that I've gotten to a point and I'm here, so I have to deal with this. It's not going away because I'm here. But now, how do I handle that? What do I do? Um, my, I, my sleep, I'm lucky to get two, three hours of sleep, you know, in a day now. Because my, my mind won't stop thinking and questioning. Do you do you feel that that's coming from the higher mind or from? Yeah. Oh, I, I, yeah. I mean, I I've said uh, I feel that we are a product of a intelligent higher source, and it's we are just like the computer that we have manufactured, the man-made computer. I feel that we are particles of a bigger motherboard. Yeah. So you know, yes, I I, I feel that I have some choice because I'm in, I'm in this material body. I'm in this material world and it came from an invisible, you know, force, but ultimately that's where the power comes from. Yeah. My power came from somewhere else. Yeah. You know, so it's hard for me to. So you're, so so you're having trouble figuring out what the priorities are. Uh It sounds like, which I think a lot of people are sharing, um, the same experience in, in that we used to make a list. This is what we're going to do, right. <laughs> you know, and now it's, it seems to be a different, you know, people talk about that was linear and now we're in a quantum uh, reality. Uh, what other type of difficulties, if any, are you having uh, and how are you, how are you coping with them or getting through them? Just my whole idea of time and life everything that I've grown to accept is now being questioned. Yeah. I question everything. I'm sure of nothing. Um, or very, I'm sure of very little. How do you, how do you feel about, you said earlier that all you ever wanted to do was be a mom. mm -hmm. How do you feel about that in the context of what we're talking about, that label mom, that role? Um, it's it's confusing and it's hurtful because yes they are beautiful it they have given me the the most pride worth you know they made me worth living they made my life worth living but then i bring this innocent child into this cruel environment and this raw environment knowing that they're they they will feel pain and they will feel hurt. They will fear, feel unfairness. And, and now it, once again, it's wow. 
why, you know, why did I do that? And would I change it if I could do it again? Um, so yeah, it's, it's tough. I just, I, it's the pain when you feel it and the confusion is such a heavy feeling. And then the joy and happiness is such a light feeling. And right now I'm being pulled in both are, directions and all extremities. All are, you, extremities. are you finding that you're having to let go of stuff? Oh, absolutely. I've lost, I mean, I've got control over. Yep. I said, yeah, I, I've got the wisdom and the strength to do what I need to do. Tell me what to do. I give it all over. Yeah. Um, you know, but yes, I, I am. I'm, I'm at a point now to where, um, you know, my family, they're, they're concerned about me. They, they think that, uh, they think that this is just a mental imbalance and, you know, that somehow I've either been exposed or a substance that I've had has just finally just caught up with me and just flipped my brain and, and lost Sabrina. And, you know, what I keep trying to say and keep standing to say is that no, Sabrina's still here, but I've became a different person. I mean, yeah. I've been reborn. I just, I, it's, it's such an extreme experience. Well, you're not alone. There's plenty, there's 50 some odd people supporting the situation here right now and sharing in the same type of experience. And so it's all good. You know, it is all good. This is, uh, this is definitely better than not. Now, let me ask you this as, as you've come into this expanded awareness, are you, are you starting to, are you getting, have you gotten to a point where you're considering what you want to manifest or materialize in your life? Yes, I, I do. I have an idea. I have an image of possibility. I have a desire of how I want things to manifest, but I don't know how to get it there. And I don't know if it should go there. So it, yeah, I mean, I do believe that, not just me, but, um, you know, basically, and let me ask you, is this movement, would, would this movement be labeled as um, discovering answers or theories or situations about life that we didn't know were there before? That's a good question. I don't know. I mean, to me, I would say that... Uh... It's more about not discovering. It's not so much discovering, although may, this may be one and the same thing, but discovering what's real. Absolutely. It's more, it's more about discovering what's not. Well. So we are not these labels and we're not these stories and traumas and all these different things. We're not even these uh multi-dimensional aspects so to speak um we no, can but get a we are we yes yeah, so we are we yeah there's the, the, the connected the connectivity that you talked about i think is the core you and know we, one I is mean, one is one point that, in time yeah. of us beginning yeah i mean do you agree with that absolutely so, absolutely so it's like i see how we how how every aspect material or not went from nothing to something yeah to this and and so back to my question my last question <laughs> that's a very because that's a very good uh you know comment that you're making yeah very just, plain very simple but so the question is if we have this expanded awareness which we do now and we're realizing what's not real and every time we remove one of those veils, we become more real. The question is, are we, you know, did we just come here to discover that? Or I know, right? Come, or did we come here to engage it and actualize it, activate it, and, and further creation through our, the, through our own unique power that is, like you said, that is a piece of that motherboard? 
Yeah, I yeah, I mean, I know. I definitely think that uh, we came to be um Okay, maybe if we came to be by chance, but once that chance happened, it became aware. <clears throat> once it became aware, it's pushed its limits of who it was. And we yeah. are all reflections of it. Yeah. The solar system is all reflections of it. Yeah. It's so weird to have a vision of, you know, a video game life or an invisible, invisible life that I have. You know, I wish I could just get back to the material part of it and uh, not care and, and, and just not have any desires, wants, fears, nothing. Just go on as a, you know, just existing. But I don't think it's possible. I don't think any of us have that possibility because we all have a thought. And once a thought happens, well. That's real. Yeah, <laughs> it happens. So It's I, real. It, it does. Yeah. Once it happens. It's just a domino effect. Yeah. And now yeah. I'm getting caught up because it's like I'm trying to go back so that I can put the pieces together to make sense of why we are here right now at this way. I don't know. I, you know, I, I spent the morning going through some stuff and I'm thinking, uh, does it have to make sense? Do we have to understand? I, I have more I, of those. I, I know and that's where yeah. I, that's where I just lose it and cry sometimes yeah. because yeah. it's like, if, if it's not supposed to make sense, why does sense exist? If it's not supposed to, then why, why, why? I mean, that's what I'm telling you. Um, I, I, I have to have been one of the most inquisitive people I've ever been around my life. It's just, well, I think, I, I, I think there's 50 plus inquisitive people here on the yeah, show as well. <laughs> oh, thank God. And that's it. I, I mean, I'm so thankful for Facebook and, and technology uh, bringing people together because you know you start out my girl's seen it the dad's seen it my mom's seen it and no one is seeing or feeling what I am and you know I mean it's just I have no one's support no one's understanding do you need it I don't think we're meant to be alone do you need their support are they going to do yes. anything for you well, they're affected oh. from me. Oh. We're or, is, or, or is it uh, is it the universe's way of pushing you back to yourself to be self-reliant? Oh, I think so. Um, but I also think that we, the ones who are going through this, you know, now and, and talking about this now is by design yeah. for the others because we all are unique but to connect it. You know, no. oh, sorry, sorry. Um, so so yeah. this, the, these, these uh, aspirations that are yeah. sitting out there that have come over the last nine months, are these things that were a surprise to you that you are most yeah, likely going to pursue? Uh, oh, yeah. I, um, you know, uh, a lot of these, I, I can't think of an example, but. Um, I would have people say, well, what, you know, why are you even talking about that? Because we'll never know. What does that matter? Cause we'll never know. Well, we may not have known it 2000 years ago, or we may not have even thought about it 2000 years ago, but we're thinking about it now and we will know, you know, if, if our species continues to, you know, reproduce and populate and, uh, maintain our home on earth thousands of years from now all of the you know all the literature all of everything that shapes who we are is is changing you know they're there we are exposed to to learn to grow to be sufficient you know right that's what that's how we that's why we're taught you know we're not like, we just don't have a baby and then leave them out in the woods and just let them go because they would die. They need us to grow and, and live, you know, to a certain point. Well, I mean, I do feel that all of our stories and in a collaborative form is going to change the way people see things. Yeah. I mean, that resonates. Yeah. 
It is. Yeah, it's, I've said this. I've said this before, but you know, uh, when I started the first couple of years, it's mostly uh, doing a lot of walking, and uh, and I would and I would hear the message that everything, not just speaking of me, mm-hmm. uh, but everything that you're writing, even instant messages, uh, every single thing will be seen. Will be what? and will be seen. It will oh, be yeah. seen. It will be absorbed. And yeah. I guess you could you could drive that deeper and just put that into thoughts itself. But there was a there was a significant um, impression, you know, an importance it is of a- of being conscious of the things of that we write and and say and do, even in personal conversations or even in solitude. Yes, I agree. Because now, let me ask you this: what what or how do you feel with the word energy? As in, we're all the same energy. Everything is the same energy. How does that, how does that sit with you? Absolutely. Um, I think uh, there is an energy. And, you know, I, I've, I've went scientific and, you know, energy can either be created or destroyed, right? It only, only transform into a different form or, you know, matter can never be created or destroyed only change transformed yes only which change. is which was my next question in this expanded awareness that you're having are you seeing transformation in your life oh absolutely um are yeah. you seeing are you seeing um a positive a positive reciprocation from the universe i feel it yeah. I, yes i it, i see it on the inside the material world the material family it's chaos right now. Okay. Because, uh, because the energies, it's almost like you're either just unaware, but once you become aware, it's that energy. Now it's a positive energy. It went from just being to energy. And then you get the polarity, the positive and negative. So yes, I feel energy. I, I, I mean, energy definitely affects us. Um, you know, if, if you have a heart attack, they're going to put electric to you. You know, all of our molecules, all of, all of every form of matter. I mean, it gets down to the molecules. You know, what are we genetically made of? That's what makes us unique. You know, but we have water in us and then there's water in the, on the ground. Yeah. I mean, I'm seeing like all of the elements and it's the energy the energy yeah yeah it's Di- it went from nothing to something and then positive to negative which is temperature heat yeah. and gold um and yeah so i see the the little atom exploding <laughs> i mean i've pictured the big bang i've pictured this I- uh diane mclaughlin has a poses a good question i think it's appropriate for today Let's see. and i'll go i'll go first on it she says do you still hold fear Oh, and I'm going to answer for myself. Uh, yes. Um, yes. Yeah. It's, a work in pro- it's a work in process. You know, I don't think we'll, we will. I don't think we'll ever be able to let go completely because we're here. We're not just free form. We are thoughtful. Um. Thought in without form. fear, you without fear, you can't have. Um, I don't know what would you call it? opposite of fear, confidence, uh, love. Well, that's love and hate too. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, but yeah, I I'm fearful. I'm fearful that you know if I can't organize myself and um, you know take care of the basic finances, things like this, then I'll, I don't know what's going to happen to me. I mean, how do you, how do you deal with the, with the fears in your life? Are you walking through some of them? Are you at a standstill? I'm boring. I'm reaching out. I'm, I feel it. I don't know what it is or how to fix it, but I feel that I don't like the negative icky feelings. I don't yeah. like the worry. I don't like the stress and the doubt. You, um, you talked. You talked about uh, matter that can yeah. only be transformed. Right. 
have you have you applied anything to those fears or to that negativity to transform that energy yeah i mean you have hope you know you have but it's just it's so discouraging when you have a manifestation or you have a hope that you see and every step is just getting further away instead of walking towards something it's like you just keep getting kicked back kicked back and kicked back and then i'm I'm, i mean i do i have been in cycles um of that negative energy and right now what do you what do you do in that situation you you uh bless them and walk away i can't uh, no i i crumble and uh isolate myself and say what the hell is happening and how do i change this you know and and do you get and do you get an answer let it be let go let go surrender to the embrace yeah that's true that's very true and i I don't and i don't know if it's uh you know because i know everybody here can relate uh if it's so much that it keeps getting further away I personally don't like the word hope. I think it's just a, a word that describes the space between doubt and faith. But, but I think for me, it seems to be more of a, you know, you make a step towards this aspiration, and then it's like it's like no relief. You got to do it again, and you got to right. do it again, and yeah, you got to do keep, it again. Just keep getting, uh, you know, challenged. I guess. Oh. Uh-huh. Well, you think you want to do that? Well, let me do this to you and see if you still want to do it and, you know, make you make it even harder. Yeah. Um, it's it's a uh, it's refreshing to talk to somebody who openly says, I just woke up in March of 2018 and to and to see, uh, uh, you know, to see in the raw truth of what you're going through and what the experience is like being in a house with three children, you know, being the uh, black sheep in the family or the rainbow sheep. I, I right. call them the rainbow sheep. But uh but I, and I'm really, really uh, uh, happy that you came on today. Thank you. Uh, I too. And I know you were a little bit um, anxious. Doubt. Yeah, I was, <laughs> and, uh, I was like, no, but, what am I doing? Yeah. You know, but but uh, no, I, every, everything that I do is just, I'm hoping to just get to that comfortable, peaceful, relaxing, loving, you know, no fear and just no. Is it, a, is it, but is it a place or a state? State. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. a feeling. It's a and feeling. I think, I think, you know, it, it, with everything that's been said and done, uh, too, that you and, and me and everyone here, we have to give ourselves some credit because we've, we've come a long, long, long way. And, uh, there does seem to be something in the air this year in 2019 where, mm. There's more community. There's more collaboration. There's more creativity, and ultimately there's more. Thought. There's yeah. thought. There's there's, you know, the thought is is just uh, it's blanketing a lot of it's blanketing us right now. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you know, yes, I I, I I've seen uh, you know, a lot of groups um, that they're all about the energies, the grounding, the meditations, the, you know, just being peaceful and ohm and, you know, just letting it go. And I, I would, you know, I, I would, I've tried and I would love to feel that, but, but me, my brain, my chemical makeup, my combination is more of a worrier and wonderer than than just being, you know, I, I just, do you, do you feel it lessening? Um, no, no, no. I, I feel that for 37 years, I was just kind of being, and now it's like, Oh, nope. Well, I'm sorry, but you just can't live. You have to, you have to question why you're living and how long you're going to live and, and how long you've got here. I mean, it's just, it's just literally like a light switch turned on. So i am been dealing with that, you know, not quite a year and wow. Um, well, yeah. Well, I think every there's a, quite a few comments there saying you're doing a great job. I think you're doing a great job too. Uh, think- Monique Ken- Monique Kendry says reach out to people in this community. There are many who will resonate with your journey, and, and that's very true. And I that's think why it, I decided to share today because yeah. 
you know, I, I have gotten a grip, um, you know, more now than I had five months ago. Um, you you know, because, uh, yeah, I, I had some dark thoughts. Yeah. We all have, we all have. And 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 not, and not, yeah, we all have not in that mind state. It's scary to imagine being in it. And one of the biggest reasons why I decided to speak was if someone else started experiencing, you know, the synchronicities and the obsessions and the thoughts immediately like I did and they're struggling on what happened and what do they do maybe my story will you know resonate with them and uh we can support each other that's right that's what it's all about so <laughs> it was an, it was an honor having you on for your first live ever well thank uh, maybe you maybe we can maybe we can collaborate again in the future yeah uh, maybe when my energies are lined up and i'm mm-hmm. centered um i can mm-hmm. show you some of the the crazy and, uh, and, and maybe when our energies are all aligned and centered we'll all be walking on water Absolutely. maybe maybe we're we're maybe we're we are setting a, a new template yes uh, it's we never been done before that's so, right so you, you can know. never say never yeah. never say yeah. never and, and yeah. who knows but yeah yeah well i think you're courageous and brave and uh and, I, and you carry a frequency of wisdom and honesty. That's what this is all about. And uh, I still believe those are our biggest activations. So I just want to thank you for thank sharing you. sharing with us today and honoring us with your presence and uh, and taking Mom, the bold. Thank you and keep up the yeah. good work. Like I'm so excited. When is uh, when will the website be up? Uh, we're gonna do. On, I'm gonna do an update in two hours. Uh, okay. I don't know. We've we've really struggled with uh, removing the linear, uh, but we've got to do that. You know, uh, I it's, think it's, it's just it's got to happen. Yeah, it's a reflection of, of of what we're all going through. We've got to remove the linear. That's that worry. That's that the deadlines. And but we yeah. did we did do our first test on the streaming today. Um, it it went okay. I wasn't there. I saw some of the notes from it. I know I think there's going to be another one tonight and maybe tomorrow. So right now we're just booking as many shows as we can. Uh, and we're going to keep using this format. Uh, once we make the, the jump, then we're going to have a period of time, maybe five days, six, seven days where the, the lives are open to everyone. Uh, but ultimately, like, like I described in the top of the show, it's a, you know, one time enrollment, which is into the community, which is going to be personal profile based community where you can post and have images and videos eventually and that type of thing. Um, and, and you make a one time love contribution of your choice. Absolutely. Anyone that's done that since January 1st is already in the community. I'll be punching in that information based on the emails that are associated with their PayPal. I'm sure we're going to have, you know, some people fall through the cracks and we'll have to go back and put them in because they have different names and this and that. But we know it's all coming together because men uh, are controlling it or we are controlling it. Well, and that's the whole point. The whole point is that the, the, the message, you know, the teams received, I received was that it's time to break away from anything that is controlling us. So uh, we're finding out a lot of things. Uh, we're finding out that not, no one's really done this. Uh, we're finding out that it costs some money uh we are uh you know this community is going to stand on the personal involvement of everyone involved right and I, when you I, my whole and journey, when you, five people probably you and a couple other people on facebook actually helped me it brought me back it gave me you know the comfort wisdom out of every of, out of all the people i've seen you and a couple other i think there's you know you know morgan always says it's like a buffet you know, some people pick up this, some people pick up that. And I think that's, and and I think people picked up from you today. So I just want to thank you again. Thank you. And uh, thank you for asking that question. And thank you for your continued love and support contributions, everyone. Um, We're, we're doing it day by day, moment by moment, post by post, show by show, member by member. Uh, We've got, uh, we've got over 110 members that have enrolled pre-launch since the first. So uh, you know, it won't be long before that number is a thousand that, that, uh, you know, that creates a lot more opportunities for us. Uh, you know, big things come in, in uh, 
small numbers. I mean, we have uh, what two two presidential candidates in the last ten years or so that ran on a dollar, five dollar, ten dollar contributions, and 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 you know did very well. Ron Paul and a couple other people. So thank you again. Thank I'll see you. everybody in a couple hours, uh, and then in three hours we're going to have Zaventa Da Vinci uh, and I are going to sit down and have a, a special edition Soul Speaks talking about spontaneous creation and, uh, and and following our intuitive. So you have a beautiful day. Best to you and your thank family. You too. And thank you everybody for joining us. Peace out. Thank you.